Hey there and welcome to the shop. Today let's talk about Blue Demon's ERTI-2 electrode, some safety concerns, then have a short demonstration of the product. ERTI is a titanium filler metal used in the GTAW, GMAW, and SAW processes. One of the first questions you may have about this product, what do the letters and number mean? Filler metals are manufactured into different forms and classified into different categories. In our case, the classification is ER, which stands for electrode or rod. Other classifications could include E for electrode, R for rod, or B for brazing, just to name a few. Electrode simply means the filler metal carries the welding current in the process. Adversely, a rod would not carry any current and is heated by another source. Next we have TI. This identifies the filler metal as unalloyed titanium or a titanium-based alloy. Lastly, the two appended to the end denotes different variations in the composition of the filler metal and is recommended for grade two titanium. Some of the most common applications for ERTI is in the aircraft industry where tensile strength and weight ratios are extremely critical. Also, other uses include high corrosive environments, pressure vessels, tanks, heat exchanger condenser tubing, valves, fittings, and piping. Blue Demon offers ERTI in rod sizes 1 16th, 3 32nd, and 1 8th. Available shielding gases include argon, helium, or a combination of the two. Titanium is a reactive metal, so it has a strong attraction to oxygen. Welding in a weld chamber is often recommended, but not always feasible. However, great shielding gas coverage is critical. Check out Blue Demon's website for more product details and instructions on using ERTI-2. Let's stop here for just a moment before I begin the demonstration portion. We need to talk about safety. The welding process can produce harmful light, fumes, sparks, and flying slag, just to name a few. You should always wear the proper clothing and safety gear while welding. This includes, but is certainly not limited to, a welding hood, welding jacket or long sleeve shirt, I would suggest cotton or wool as synthetic materials may melt to your skin. Next, select the proper thickness of gloves, ear protection, and safety glasses. One should always wear eye protection during the welding process. Here's a tip. Many welders will wear a small respirator, like the one seen here. It filters out some of the harmful things floating in the air. The other thing it does is direct the hot air you breathe down and out of your hood. If you've ever welded before, you know the lens can become so fogged you can't see anything. Now that we've covered the safety portion, I'll set up a few test coupons and run a few beads. Hey, if you've made it this far, thanks for hanging in there. Let me explain the demonstration a little bit. So I've got my ERTI-2 and I've got a couple of uh, coupons I've cut out. They're about five inches long. Uh, thickness is 0.10. I'm gonna throw them up on the bench here in a little lap joint and uh, get to it. So let's get to the demonstration.
So I'm decently satisfied with this. Uh, the ripples could have been, dipping could have been a little bit more consistent. Um, this, uh, this gold color is not what you want either. Uh, I don't have a trailing cup today. So if I had a trailing cup, this would all be silver like it's supposed to, like this out here. This was allowed to cool. Uh, I think on the next plate, I'll slow down and, and take a couple of dips and let the pool cool off and then take a couple dips and take it real slow. We'll see how that turns out. Okay, so this color is much, much better. So the technique I was using was I have the big, the big cup and I was dipping about three to four times, then, then letting the art go out, covering, covering the weld metal for a few seconds, then light back up and continue on and just rinse and repeat all the way. So we can see that we've got nice silver all the way across. Uh, my technique definitely could be a little better. I need to uh, steady my hands up a little bit, but uh, that's what you're looking for. I really appreciate you spending your time with me today. And please remember Blue Demon for all your welding needs. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.